So welcome everybody to the Tuesday evening screencast coaching call. My name is Lon Naylor. I'll be your host. Hope everyone's staying warm. It is one frigid event here in West Central Wisconsin. Okay, I see Tony Blum has a question in the question box. I saw in a Joey Soto course that you can do color correction inside Adobe that makes the video look cinematic and pop. Is there a function inside Camtasia that does that? Not really, Tony. Yeah, that's called a filter, essentially, and Camtasia doesn't really do that, although we're going to check the latest version here. Uh, I'm going to even try it without film clip here. If it's going to be anywhere, Tony, it's going to be, on, you click on whatever clip you have, and then you go to Visual Properties, and I don't think that you can, other than to say that there is this little th thingy here called Colorize, so I don't know, maybe it is possible to do such a thing. So yeah, I mean, it looks like you can Colorize it, um, but it, it's it's not like a true filter the way you would find such a thing in Adobe Premiere. Uh, for example, I'll, I'll probably just make that statement right off the bat. Let's uh, even, I don't know, you can probably grab just about anything and colorize it. See, this this colorizing, uh, what the filters and stuff in Premiere probably do is they will add a specific kind of coloration layer like a uh, something called a sepia, which is kind of an orangish thing, or uh, just change it to grayscale, you know, so make a color movie black and white. And it does those things very specifically and on purpose. So here, if I add a gray color, you'll notice that it, well, it doesn't change at all. So all it does is take certain aspects uh, of a color spectrum here and applies uh, you know, a certain color, but it certainly doesn't uh, do the same thing that a filter effect would do, okay? Now, if you're talking about camera video, one thing that I will point out is that, for example, I use my iPad as a camera, and you can use just about any mobile device as a camera, and those devices have tons of applications that have these kinds of filters. Uh, one that I use on my iPad is something called 8mm, and I actually have a demo of that uh, in one of our, our videos, and I'll kind of find a link for that. But it's called 8mm, and what it does is I shoot video with my iPad device, because it's my camera, right? And then I open up this app, which essentially has a selection of different filters in it. And I can apply those filters to my video camera footage. And then I use the Fuse app uh, in Camtasia. So I basically just say File, Connect Mobile Device, and Camtasia will pull that modified video Remember, I used an app on my iPad to create the effect that I wanted, and it'll pull it right into Camtasia. So in that sense, you know, that's pretty much on the Camtasia side the way to kind of handle that. Does that make sense, Tony? So the short answer to your question is, no, Camtasia doesn't do that. And another limitation of Camtasia that, gosh, I hope they fix at some point in time, is that you can't add third-party plugins. If you have Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas Movie Studio or any other, you know, higher-end video editor on the planet, you can add third-party plugins that provide all kinds of effects. Okay, so there's, you know, that's kind of how they handle it. Sony, for example, doesn't have to write all of those effects because there are tons of companies out there that specialize in creating those kinds of effects. Okay, so there you go.